Dow picked up 500, NASDAQ up 287, and the S&P up 71. And the Nationals are about to take the field for game two of their doubleheader with the D-backs. Nats won the early game big. Stay with us for updates all through the evening at 7 o'clock. Travelers and commuters shedding masks. Absolutely fantastic. Back to normal. More Russian troops pour into eastern Ukraine. There's really no place to run right now. An independent autopsy after a Michigan police shooting. There's no question what killed this young man. This is the CBS World News Roundup Late Edition. I'm Jennifer Kuyper in Chicago. The Department of Justice says it will appeal the court order lifting mask mandates on public transportation if the CDC says it's necessary. The masks have been coming off since a federal judge struck down the mandate yesterday at New York's LaGuardia Airport. I'm totally vaccinated. I don't feel the need to have to wear a mask anymore. I'm hoping most of the people in the flight are still masked. I'm Peter King at Orlando International Airport. The signs that say mask required are disappearing. We're pulling down all the messaging, and um, it'll be in ready reserve and hopefully not to be used. Airport Operations Chief Tom Draper probably speaks for every other transportation manager. He says the end of the mask mandate is a great day. But get back into the old normal, and that's what we're looking for, and to be back into uh, where we were in 2019 because our numbers are there. Ukraine's government is calling the new Russian offensive in the eastern part of the country massive. But CBS's Chris Livesay says Ukrainians are putting up a fight. Responding by mobilizing heavy artillery of their own. I mean, a lot of that comes from the latest U uh, U.S. military aid package to Ukraine. That was an $800 million bundle that includes $155 million howitzer cannons for the first time, as well as 100 armored Humvees, uh, M-17 helicopters. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen tells the International Monetary Fund panel that Russia's invasion of Ukraine is the reason behind rising food insecurity. The interconnectedness of the global food system means that people on every continent are impacted. Two men accused of posing as federal agents for several years to reportedly get access to Secret Service have been indicted by a federal grand jury. They are accused of false impersonation of an officer or employee of the U.S. and unlawful possession of a Glock magazine. An independent autopsy by Dr. Werner Spitz confirms that Patrick Leoya was shot in the back of the head during a Grand Rapids, Michigan traffic stop while face down on the ground. The only injury on this body was a typical bullet wound of entrance. State police are still investigating. The three men convicted of hate crimes for chasing and killing Ahmad Arbery as he ran in their Georgia neighborhood have been scheduled for sentencing on August 1st in federal court. On Wall Street, stocks close higher on a tech rally. The Dow closed up 500 points. NASDAQ jumped 287. Now this. Presented by Rocket Mortgage. Whether you're looking to purchase a new home or refinance yours, Rocket Mortgage can help you get there. For home loan solutions that fit your life, Rocket can. 7.03 here on WTOP, Tuesday evening, April 19th, 2022. It's 51 at Tyson's tonight. Good evening, I'm Dimitri Sotis. And I'm Michelle Bash. The top local stories we're following this hour. The summer usually brings higher gas prices, but this summer could bring you a tax holiday in Virginia. WTOP's Dick Giuliano tells us a vote has been taken in the House of Delegates in Richmond. Higher demand for gas in the summer driving season typically pushes up prices. But the Virginia General Assembly's House Finance Committee has approved a bill to eliminate the state's gas tax for May, June, and July. State Transportation Secretary Shep Miller says the governor's goal is to provide drivers economic relief. Obviously, the governor has made a pledge to try to get some of the revenue back to the citizens who contributed to the Commonwealth particularly in this time of high inflation and economic trouble. The Virginia state gas tax is about 26 cents a gallon. The bill still needs approval by the House and the Senate. Dick Iuliano, WTOP News. Virginia's governor is praising today's move to push his gas tax plan forward. Glenn Youngkin says he's looking forward to working in a bipartisan manner to fully pass the legislation. The Montgomery County executive is pretty ticked off about the end of the federal mask mandate on public transportation. Mark Elrich calls it a bad decision decision by a Trump judge who has no expertise in public health to overrule our nation's public health experts. That is a quote. 
from the county executive. Many airlines and public transit systems, certainly around here and around most of the nation, dropped the mandate after the judge yesterday said the CDC had basically overstepped its authority requiring masks. Masks are now optional on Montgomery County ride-on buses, for example. Elridge says they will comply with the legal decision, but will continue to look at legal options regarding masking. Meanwhile, Montgomery County is taking steps toward more police trust and accountability. As of this summer, when there's a complaint of police misconduct, two newly formed Montgomery County Council panels will go to work. WTOP's Kate Ryan has the story. The vote creating the Montgomery County Police Accountability Board and the Administrative Charging Committee was quick. Yes. Mr. Katz votes yes. Mr. Jawando? Yes. But the process before the Montgomery County Council was a long and often contentious one, with two public hearings and multiple works sessions. State law required each county to create panels to deal with complaints of police misconduct. The idea was to introduce more public input. The panel members will be paid and will be ready to hear complaints in some cases as early as July 1st of this year. In Rockville, Kate Ryan, WTOP News. We have similar news out of Anne Arundel County tonight. They've got about two months there to set up their new board aimed at holding police officers accountable. And this comes after the county council approved the board's decision. So we look forward to building a system that we believe will ultimately build trust between community and police. Every county in Maryland will need to have a police accountability board this year, according to a recent state law. In Arundel County Executive Stuart Pittman. The board will make policy recommendations to me and to the county council and to the community on policy related to policing. It will also accept complaints from citizens about police misconduct. Nine people will be appointed to the board. It must be seated and ready to take any complaints against officer misconduct by July 1st. Luke Luger, WTOP News. An update now to the shooting of a little baby last week in Charles County. The sheriff's office says 27-year-old Delvante Elmore of D.C. is under arrest, charged with first-degree assault, home invasion, and gun crimes. Deputies say Elmore and another person broke into a Waldorf apartment looking for another person who wasn't there. Investigators say Elmore pointed a gun at a woman's head, and the two then fought over the gun, and it went off. The eight-month-old child was hit in the hand. And deputies are looking for a second suspect. Coming up for you after traffic and weather, we're talking about the mask mandate that's largely gone from our transportation system tonight. We still have a lot of cases, but, you know, I, I do know that it was inevitable. It was marked for destruction, the mandate. A Hopkins specialist has more in minutes about how you should think about masks going forward. Hope you stay with us for your whole drive. George Wallace here, and it's that time. It's spring break time. What are you doing for spring break? Did you know you can enjoy a spring staycation with the family on Contour TV? It's your all-in-one entertainment place. Live TV, sports, and music. Plus, stream new episodes of your favorite NBC shows on Peacock the day after they premiere. Find what you're looking for fast with our award-winning voice remote. And don't forget about panoramic Wi-Fi that helps keep some things just go better together like comfy clothes and work calls and bundling your home and auto insurance with usaa it's less hassle and more savings usaa what you're made of we're made for call for a quote restrictions apply